Hello, Leo. Thank you for stopping by. Um, this is a week ahead forecast tarot card reading. Um, you know, we're going to look at the energies that you will potentially. This is a collective group read, so it may not resonate for all Leos, all Leo placements. Um, but I really don't feel like doing pick the cards today, so I'm, I'm doing astrologies. And, uh, <coughs> uh huh. It'd be like that, okay? <coughs> wow. I almost took myself seriously for a moment. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> anyway, um, that's one thing I try to really not do is take myself seriously or too seriously. Seriously enough to pay the bills and to show up to work. And that's about it. Um, otherwise, I know I'm a joke. This whole thing is funny. Life is funny. And I, I'm not saying that tarot readings are a joke. I mean, existence itself. And you could see that as a negative viewpoint. Or you could see that it's kind of a fun way to embrace a uh, otherwise potentially dark and scary thing with a little brevity and some lightheartedness. Um, anyway, I'm gonna sip my coffee here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hit the gong slightly softly. And so a message I've been giving out to all of the signs that I've been reading for today is it's about service. So in the spiritual community, there is a lot of talk about following my heart and what my sparkle is and following my feel goods. And these are true. And that is the best way to follow your intuition. Um, but there's something a lot of people don't necessarily realize. If you're not meditating, if you're not following a spiritual practice, what you're probably hearing talk to you is your ego or your shadow. And you wouldn't know the difference between the voices. Um, to get to the point where you are following your sparkle, what makes you sparkle, what makes you gid giddy, it, that's like step three, if you will. And it's not a linear thing. And like I shouldn't, I don't want to try to pigeonhole you because you may already have such a strong grasp on what is ego, what is shadow, what is divine guidance, um, that this part of the message is not for you. And, you know, it's meh. Move on. Um, but, so there's a lot of talk about the self and, you know, doing for self. And this is true. Um, I like using the airplane analogy. It's like when the cabin pressure drops and the oxygen masks come down, you have to put your mask on first before you can then help the next person. And the same thing with awakening. It's up to you to put your mask on first. And that is self-centeredness. You're centered within self. But from there, are you selfish? Are you then trying to take from others to satisfy your needs and wants? Or are you trying to generate more for all? In your manifestation work, are you trying to call in more for all? By rising your brethren and sistren up, we all rise. Okay. Um, I've been seeing a lot of... In 2023, I saw a lot of... Bleh, is my best expression I have for it. Bleh, or that. I Either way, it kind of Bleh, gets the idea across. You know what I mean? Um, I'm sparkle, love, and light, and I'm going to lie, steal, cheat, and manipulate to get what I want because it's in my highest interest. That, that's a narcissist, okay? That's um, demonic, and that is not for the highest and greatest good of all involved or highest and greatest unfoldment. I don't even, I try to not even use the word good. Okay, you came here for a tarot reading and you just got a lecture instead. 
Uh, Om Namah Shivaya. I apologize for that, but it's a it's a channeled message that I'm supposed to get out to everyone. And I didn't feel like trying to mix it into the cards. I'd rather just come out and say it. So follow your sparkle, yes indeed. But find your temperance between your head and your heart in the process. So yes, this is good for me, but does it help anybody else? Or is it actually going to harm others? Just be cognizant of that. It has something to do with Capricorn season that we're in. Um, and yeah, and something about 2024. I don't know what. It's a year of making money, baby! So let's uh, get it, right? Isn't that what they say? Get it? I don't know what the hell they say. I don't, I don't watch TV. I watch like old anime because I'm Peter Gray. It's because I'm old. See the, see the no hair? That's because I shave it. Um, anyone who calls me a skinhead, you have no idea who I am. Okay, I shave my head because I am a follower of ISIS. Okay. Priests and priestesses of ISIS shaved their heads in the temple. Wore wigs, but they shaved their heads to remove the hair. To remove the past memories from the past healings that you did the day before. Ritualistically shave the head. Oh, I grow a beard, so it's kind of like, uh, but I also change my facial hair on a regular. I almost do it seasonally, roughly seasonally. I'll change it. I'll go back to clean shave and maybe I'll keep a handlebar mustache for a while. It's just, it's got to change around. Otherwise it gets really boring for me. Anyway, wow, I'm really babbling. By the way, I'm a Leo too. And, uh, it's my Leo moon. And, um, mm -hmm, I'm new at this. Um, and I'm in a goofy mood today. And now that we've got all of the disclaimers out, we're almost eight minutes into the reading and I've yet to pull a card. So if you've clicked off, I don't blame you. However, with that said, we're going to start with an oracle card from the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck, Spirit Guides Ancestors. A Shubitz. A she. Please be with me now. Guide me. Guard me. Protect me as I go within the tarot and oracles. Bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for the collective of Leo for the next week, for their week ahead. What are the energies they're going to be interacting with? What are the energies they're going to have to deal with? What is the deal for, for the Leo collective in this now time, in this week ahead? Help me to guide them. Help me to warn them. Help me to let them know about what's coming down the pipeline, baby. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Goddess. And so it is. So we're going to pull one from the Sacred Rebels. Card number 38. Restore and replenish. Restore and replenish. Almost looks like she's in a salad bowl there. You know? I don't know. Maybe I'm hungry. Um, maybe you want to screenshot this and then take a good look at this card when you have the opportunity. There's a lot going on within the seashells around her and the leaves. And then there's coinage and there's gears out beyond that. It's card number 38 that reduces to an 11. And you don't reduce past that in numerology. I don't know if that means something to you, it might. In the unseen energy from that deck, I haven't shown anyone that yet. After the storm, and there's a big sun in the background and an owl carrying a basket. Actually, that is sacred geometry in that owl's talons. Huge solar disk behind him after the storm. Uh, I haven't shown any other zodiac the underside of that. I don't know why I just did, just felt right. Um, yeah, so the overall energy, the overall theme is restore and replenish. Drink more water, please. Get lots of rest, don't be afraid to rest. Don't, don't, wow, I'm, I'm don'ting and shouldn'ting, huh, weird. Um, Leo, if you feel tired, rest. If you uh, if your pee is a little bit yellow, drink more water. Um, care for that vessel of yours. I do. I love your vessel. You're beautiful. You're a Leo. You're one of the sexiest signs out there. You know this. 
but you know this. Okay, I'm gonna hit my vape. If you don't like that, click off. Mm hmm. Okay, let's, let's crack into this tarot. We're gonna do a Celtic cross to try to look deeper into the energies of the week ahead. And then if we need some advice, you know, we'll go for it. I have other oracles around me. And uh, if I have to get up and walk and get another deck of cards, I will, but I don't think I'll have to. I usually can get any answers I need out of just one little small deck of cards, because I really don't need these to do this reading anyway. Um, yeah, I've been a reader since I was a kid. And take the cards, it's the energy, y'all. But the cards actually help me accept the messages, just like they help you receive the messages from me. So let's do it this way. It's pretty windy here. You may be hearing my wind chimes outside. They're rather soothing. I like them. Spirit, where are we at? That's right. Okay. Thanks for sticking around, Leos. I know that intro was really long, and I would apologize for it, but in the Unseen Energy is the Ten of Swords, so we're getting over it. We're getting past that. The center of the reading is forward movement, the chariot. The chariot is the fastest moving card within the deck. Fastest moving energy. It's also an energy of balancing yin and yang, masculine and feminine, and moving forward. Um, crossing that, however, is a four of cups. Now, typically we say the four of cups is not wanting to receive. This large cup here is receiving from those three. Sacral energy, too. Maybe you don't want to be a party to that. Crowning the situation. Nine of Cups. It's about your personal satisfaction, your personal happiness. That's your happiness, not other people feeding you your happiness. You're getting your happiness from yourself and your life. And at the foundation, a Knight of Cups. Very romantic, swervy kind of individual. This one will come in and tell you how beautiful your eyes are and these feelings that I possess for you are so rich and I don't know what to do with myself. I don't have you in my life. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, they're really romantic. Lovey-dovey kind. And after oh happens, they may just walk right out the door. I'll call you later. It's okay, bye. Um, they're... They're like the romantic player. The Knight of Wands is the, I'm not gonna tell you I love you. I'm gonna tell you you're gonna love what I got. That's the Knight of Wands, very different energy. Uh, both of them will here for a good time, not necessarily a long time, if you know what I mean. Um, recent past, Nine of Swords, very intense. A very, very intense energy in the mind space. Each one of these swords is thoughts. Thoughts, potential communications. They're very intense. It's not a nice feeling, nine of swords. Not a very nice feeling, nine of swords. No, 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 no. I have no idea where this fake accent is coming from. I was born in Buffalo, New York, in the United States. I should not sound like a this, but now I talk like a this. I have no idea why. In the near future, king of wands. That's you, Leo. That's you, baby. In your power. Sitting strong, crown on a little on the side. You know, because it cools out. You could cool like that. Yeah. I, I can't talk right now. I'm tired. It's a long day. 
Uh, how's Leo seeing themselves, Spirit? You're seeing yourself like the big option. That's how you're seeing yourself. Options and you're the big one. Or as someone who has lots of options. However you want to phrase it. The energies around Leo. We have two of pentacles. Balancing, juggling. Balancing, juggling. You, juggling is a form of balancing. Um, of the physical world. Of the physical goodies. Hopes and the fears. And Knight of Pentacles. Okay, and that, that really is a, I'm a fire sign, like you're a fire sign. And to us, yeah, a Knight of Pentacles is both a hope and a fear. Man, are they dependable. Gosh, they are loyal, dependable. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. These are the earth signs. And geez, Louise, are they slow. And to a fire sign, that's unnerving. It's like, wow, I love how dependable you are. But could you, could you get over here already? Or... You know, you've been talking about showing up here for months. A lot of us have been in our readings and uh, been hearing that there's a Knight of Pentacles on its way. I'm like, no, they're not. They're, they're stuck in the sand. They're not even moving. Heaven six. Ah! So that's why it'd be a hope and a fear. Because you know us, that groundedness that they bring, man, is that magic. It is. We need that stuff. And the likely outcome actually is a nine of wands. Um, sorry, it's a card of Aries. Conflict, but going against the grain. And see how much bigger that front wand is than all the other wands? Going against the grain and doing it well. But it's also tiring. And it's headed towards ten of wands. We want to put the burden down. So... Okay, how are we getting from the Chariot to the Nine of Wands through a Four of Cups? By becoming the King of Wands, of course. And we have some balanced emotions going on in the head and in the ground. And, uh, yeah. But we're seeing ourselves as options, as emotional options for others. But the Big Cup. Yeah. Anyway. Spirit. I want clarity on this. I need some clarity. I'm... I'm not fully comfortable with this. Restore and replenish. If we're in nine of wands, we are not restoring and replenishing. To me, that is a card of resting and nourishing our bodies and our minds and our spirits. And how am I getting there through this, Spirit? Let's talk about this nine of wands, Spirit. What, what else can you tell me here? Um, what, what's, what is this? New beginning. A fool's journey. A leap out of faith. And that goes with that concept of the chariot. Spirit, this crossing four of cups, what advice do you have for the Leo collective here about handling this? What 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 do you want to say here? Four to wands. Cancer got the four to wands as their outcome. Um, Leo, ground this stuff in. This is a card of celebration of a connection. You know, they say it's the marriage card. It's not the marriage. It's the celebration of the marriage. This is about being excited and celebrating and getting involved in the what it is. Okay, but we have a four to a four. Pretty stable. It also makes an eight. Um, but four to four. And the four of cups is about not wanting to receive. It's really about not wanting to receive from a situation. And that's saying not wanting to receive from the four of wands. Okay, so there is a... Huh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Never mind, it does make sense. I didn't realize there was a, a romantic undercurrent to this whole thing until the Four of 
Wands. I mean, the Four of Cups made me think that the Knight of Cups at the bottom kind of gave that impression. But moving into the future where you're in your King of Wands energy, you're taking charge of a situation. Okay, you're taking charge of the situation. And that's... You're going to need to go against the grain. That's a likely outcome. And it's a new beginning. It's letting go of the past and stepping into something new. Got it. Okay. That totally makes sense then. Perfect. Great reading. I love it, Leos. I love it. And throughout this, you want to restore and replenish who you truly are. I, okay. Yeah. Now it's... So much clearer to me. Thank you, Spirit, for kicking out those extra couple of cards and laying it down for me and for us. Um, is there a Power of Love activation card here, Spirit, that would really benefit Leo in this moment? Is there like a Power of Love that would really help Leo out through this scenario? What love energy? <sighs> Okay, Leo, responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love that you express. Drink this card in, please. This rainbow coloration to activate this within. I love you, Leos. I do. And I needed to see that too. Because again, I am also a Leo. So this is a... Uh, I think that's why the reading started to make sense to me because it, it, I'm seeing maybe some of my own stuff in there. Interesting. Anyway, Leo, I'm grateful for you for stopping by and letting me read for you today. I know this is a long reading, but this is about the week ahead, man. That's a long time. Especially for someone who's totally neurodivergent. I mean, getting me to think past a day ahead? Whew, good luck with that. But... Or I'll think a million years in advance because I'm a geologist. I think on a different timetable. Anyway, if you like the reading, if you got something out of this, give me the thumbs up. If you got something deep out of it, drop the comment. Otherwise, from my heart to yours, I love you.